poverty as capability deprivation so by capabilities in very simple terms we mean maybe you are a very rich individual uh, but you do not have all the freedoms which you would want to have you just can't go outside maybe your health is weak so is that the life worth living for so capabilities is the substantive freedom which the individual will have so that he can lead a life which he or she has some reason to value right you would want to live such a life in which there are freedoms which are available to you so poverty is not only seen as the deprivation of income it is also seen as the deprivation of capabilities i'll give you a few examples here the first example is that first of all you have to understand this that uh, undeniably this is true that if you have more income you will have more capabilities also in in terms of for example maybe if you have more income you have access to better health care in case of hospitalization you can go to better hospital you can go to uh, better uh, afford better medical care in case of education you can have better education so if you have better income if you have more income this is going to enhance your capability this is undeniably true but also if you have enhanced capabilities it can also make you more productive and it can also enhance your income just imagine if government is going to give everyone better education if government is going to ensure everyone will have the better access to health care they do not have to worry about education they do not have to worry about uh, health care they can they, their productive capacities are going to increase they will be more capable and hence they they will have better earning power also right so better education better health are going to improve your life directly and undoubtedly this is true but this is also going to help in your in in the ability of the individual to have uh, uh, more income if you are if you have better education you can be employed in a better job if you have uh, good health you can work harder and hence your income capacity is going to increase on one of the example where your ability to earn can increase if we can provide you with better or or enhanced capabilities so indian economic reforms is one of that example so there was lot of pent up energy before economic reforms and and then it was all used after that what happened was that uh, uh, with economic reforms there were many capabilities were opened up before us and this has undoubtedly increased our ability to earn more so were they productive were reforms productive yes yes and a resounding yes but they could even have been better if government would have provided or made the social infrastructure better first for example if government would have provided to all sections of the society to all sections of the community better education better health then naturally they will have improved capabilities and they would have even better uh, earning capacity and hence the growth will occur naturally in the country there are two examples which we have taken one of the example is from outside india where this is what we were saying that was done uh, that is social infrastructure was developed first which led to improved capabilities and hence it also led to a uh, increase in income for example it happened in japan south korea taiwan uh, hong kong and it also happened in china and then there is an example from our own country also kerala for example 
Kerala has the higher levels of education, it has the better health care and it has better land reforms than most of the other states. So in terms of social infrastructure, it is, it is uh, ranking quite high as compared to the other states in the country. Other states have, maybe, maybe they can have uh, better economic conditions in the sense better uh, economic growth, not economic conditions, but economic growth could be there. Uh, they have the market-based expansion also, others, other states. In Kerala, what happened was, now the downside of this was that economic growth remained moderate. It was not high as the other states of the country. Economic growth, it remained moderate. But because human resources which were developed, although they were quite developed human resources, they, had, they, were, they were healthy and uh, they were educated. But there was a kind of suspicion in the minds of human resource of that state that if you have the market-based expansion without state control, it is going to hamper, hamper the economic growth. So we should not allow market-based expansion much without controls, right? So everything has to be seen in the context. So we have to take up all good points from everywhere. So Kerala is a good point, but there is one downside also, which uh, uh, Sain Sahab has mentioned here. And then he asked that, what should be the aim of the anti-poverty programs? Think about it. The aim of the anti-poverty program is just to increase, just to decrease the income poverty. No, just to decrease the income poverty can't be an aim of the anti-poverty program. The main aim is that we should be able to provide the lives which people would want to live. Freedoms which people value and hence they start valuing their own lives. Which is going to increase their cap capabilities and hence they can, they will, those enhanced capabilities are going to uh, increase the productivity and hence the earning capacity of individuals. So that should be the aim. We should not be so narrow-minded only in terms of thinking, no, 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 only income poverty should be reduced. There are poverty in other areas too. There can be poverty in terms of education, there can be poverty in terms of health. Those also have to be tackled. And the kind of an argument which he is making is that if you take care of these, if you provide them better capabilities in these areas, then they will become more productive and hence they will enhance their own uh, capacities to earn more income, right? And then he goes on in the next section uh, talking about inequalities in capability deprivation. So you have... You can think in terms of uh, uh, think in terms of inequality in terms of income and in terms of other spaces. Now, when you talk about other spaces, income we understand. Okay, you have more income than me, that we understand. But maybe I have more well-being than you. Maybe I have more freedom than you. Maybe uh, somebody has more uh, or or has better health than other person. Those are also inequalities. And he's saying you also have to look at them. He gave three examples. He said this, why don't you look at it in this way? In the first example, he says this, and, and he's comparing income inequality vis-a-vis -vis other kinds of inequality. So in the first example, you have person has high income. So he's, he's satisfied that he has high income. But he's... Uh, uh, he, is, uh, he doesn't have all the freedoms. He cannot participate politically in the political process. So tomorrow, if a government is going to say, no, only a certain kind of individuals can only vote. It's like they have taken our freedom from us, right? So that's not right. So although person might have more income, but if he cannot participate politically, Right? So he is poor in that kind of freedom. We are not accustomed of looking at those kinds of freedom. 
that is the problem uh, other example he said very simple example person have very high income but he has an ailment he has a very serious chronic disease can you say that uh, is he happy is he having all kinds of freedom no so the third example person is unemployed so and government says don't worry we'll give you unemployment benefit so as far as unemployment benefit is given to him as far as income is concerned he is not income deprived right but at the same time he doesn't have a freedom of having fulfilling occupation so he is poor in that space so that is the meaning of space here space means other kinds of inequality uh, or there is one kind of inequality in in one sense you are looking at income inequality here these are other senses other spaces in which you can look at inequality right so we'll take the discussion further uh, in the next class i hope it was useful to you please make notes and uh, read the reading it's a little difficult reading so you might uh, want to make notes here first and then read the reading you will understand it right thank you beta